Hello everyone, welcome back. All right guys, this is another video of the moon and we're gonna go back to China when they had their Chang-3 with the U-2 rover. Now, they did have actual photos back in, I think it was 2013 that they landed on the moon at the time. Um, but funny enough, they just decided to send out or, you know, just make public uh, high definition photos. Let's have a look. I think you guys will like this thing. So. I'm looking at this here, and of course, I've seen this either, pff, it was on one of the sites, space sites, or uh, it might have been on Facebook, I forget who posted it, but really doesn't matter. China reaches the moon, snapping incredible, never-before-seen high-definition photos. While exploring the lunar surface, Chang, uh, China's Chang-3 lander discovered a new type of moon rock and managed to snap thousands of high-resolution photos of the moon. For the first time ever, you can take a peek at the lunar surface like never before, thanks to the sophisticated cameras located on board the Chang-3, one of China's most advanced lunar uh, landers. Anybody who's like, uh, just happens to be like um, suggested video, like you look on your YouTube and it says suggested video, and it showed mine, do me a huge favor. Before you go, it's rocks, okay, do this. Pause the video anywhere once I've enhanced, show the enhanced photos, and then use your own magnifier if you have a magnifying glass, and you'll see what I mean, because this gets pretty cool. All right. While the mission took place in 2013, China's National Space Administration, or the CNSA, ours is the NASA, released thousands of high-definition images during 2015. Kind of a little red flag, don't you think? Now, they did, now, in 2013, they did send out photos. They did have photos to the public. And, of course, they were very, very... Not too many of them. Let's just put it that way. There was a good handful, don't get me wrong. But why wait... Two years later, to send out high definition. Why? Because we get to manipulate and obfuscate. And I want to show you what I mean by that in a big way. Okay, I've done this one pretty much one time. This is the one I believe gives it away. This one right here. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, let me see after I'm touching down on lunar surface and instrumental board. Okay. Um, the images are beyond fascinating and help scientists around the world to understand the complex and mysterious geology of the lunar surface, even revealing a completely new moon rock, undiscovered by a uh, previous mission of Soviet Union and United States. Two years after touching down on the lunar surface, the instruments on board the lander remain functional. Again, why does it freaking matter about a rock? Ooh, a special rock. Unless it's a certain iron ore or something that can make money or we can mine. Think about that. All right. Of course, you guys give me your take on that. But this photo alone, I'm going to show you right now. I don't want to make this super long, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this quickly. Um, this is it in question. And I'm going to show you, the, oh man, what appears to be rocks are not rocks. And let me show you just a little couple of inconsistencies right off the bat before we even get into this. And I enhance this and show this to you guys. Okay, right off the bat, I've seen this here. So let's have a look. Back up right over here. I'm going to show you the things. I'm just going to circle the things that I, 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 that I believe are completely uh, anomalous. Okay, this right here. And I'm going to get right into it. why I believe that. This is kind of weird, but that's not the main concern. This whole thing here, because I don't know if your eyes are seeing this correctly, but this whole thing has been taken out, but you can see what looks like these little squares. And you can see something right here, like a little rectangular opening. Or something coming directly out of it. But I'm going to show you a lot more in depth of that in a minute. So that I can get it off that picture. Uh, this here. Weird how you got this opening. And then something coming right out of it. Okay. Usually rocks don't do stuff like that. This area here. And this more than anything right here. Um, but, and there's another object here. Now, let's jump right into this, because like I said, I don't want to take too long on this, but nonetheless, this stuff is there. It is actually, wow, it's just, I don't even have to do anything to this. Check this out. This object right here goes, there's an opening in it, goes like this, up, across, comes down. But there's something over here, it looks like it's round right there, but something goes down into it. There's two of them that go down into this, and this has what looks like a pointed object sticking inside of this thing, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. In fact, I'll do that now so you guys can actually see this. Let's do it this way. You can see that now it has something inside, but there's two things going inside that. See that? Up, over, here, and then down. 
something round, like a round disc sitting on the ground right here. Okay. And you can see where I've blurred it out a little bit. Here's another thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Right here, it goes like this. There's some kind of weird feature right here, but this thing continues on, goes like this, goes up, and then stops right here. It's not just one piece of, like, small piece of rock here, guys. This is, see how, like, really, really bright that got? This is the way it comes. So when you try to bring it down, okay, and you can see that a little bit better. Now watch this. <laughs> this just gets cooler and cooler. This thing, I'm going to bring it down to this. This, this is what has these weird kind of squares. Then it has this opening kind of thing with something coming out of it. But look at this item right here. Another one right here. It's like this whole piece is something right here. And you can see all of this white is the actual object. What they do is they just kind of scribble over this thing. So you can't see it. This piece right here. What does that? Again, it has this opening. And you get this thick, whatever the hell that thing is, hanging out of this. What is that? That's To me, that doesn't look like a rock. Check this out. <laughs> this is cool. Because when, when you first see this, you don't notice it too much. This, I don't know if this is some kind of weird container, but it's round right here. Okay, well, it's supposed to be round. That ain't round. Uh, anyway, it goes like this, goes across, but watch this. When you, it starts to come out, then what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the actual, and you can see it right here. I should be right, let me see if I can find this thing where I've done it, where I could just bring it up a little bit. Right here, you can see where they tried to put this little blur so they can block what looks like a round opening. But when you do that, you can see that perfectly. You get you burn that away. You can still see the little remnants of it. But as I went like this with a burn tool and very lightly, and that totally disappeared. Now, if it was solid, meaning it was there, you wouldn't be able to do that. Because I can use a burn tool right here, and you would not be able to do that. You just can't. Not on a super white surface. You wouldn't be able to burn to it too easy. But you have something that goes like this. Comes down. Goes like this here. Is this some kind of weird cylinder type thing? Is it part of a rocket type thing? As you can see, this goes like this. It's round. But it also has something over here. I can't make out if this is this this here is part of this. Uh, maybe you guys can see it. I don't know. Just pause the thing anytime you want to and just have a look. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. I usually do these kind of videos, guys. Just go right through them. This way here, we don't take too long. You guys can pause it. Check it out. Um, this object in the back. It looks like it has some sort of... Let me see if I can just bring this down. I'm going to narrow it down to one. That'll work. Uh, has what this looks like this little opening. Because I just made it a whole lot bigger. Um, it's kind of like small right there. But then it has a bigger area here. Of course, it's not round like I want it to be. But it has these pieces branching off. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that right there? It's some kind of object, or part of some object, laying right there. Now, this, to me, was another telltale sign. This object right on the side of this so-called rock. Look at this thing. I believe this goes all the way down here. I believe you're just seeing part of it. You can see what it looks like. It goes like this here. But this sand, so to speak, I don't believe it is. I believe this does this. And it looks like it has these little steps kind of thing into it. Um, that's not very straight. But anyway, I was trying to go like this. Uh, make it straighter than that. But it has two perfect circles in it. And they're like identical. And whatever that thing is. But you can see that thing does not look like it's, like I said, this right here. Even if you were to do it this, just a small part. It looks like it does this. It looks perfectly shaped. What could that be, guys? Pause it any way you want. Have a look at it. And it also has these little layers. I don't know if you can see these. It has like these spaces or these weird like section of plates. I don't even know how to explain it. Whatever it is. I don't know if you can see that. Let me go zoom really in there. has these pieces and like I said this one particular piece that isn't rocks guys it's just not a rock I don't believe that it is 
You guys, of course, can tell me what you think it is. Now, I went over that quickly, and I apologize. It's not that I'm in a hurry. I just don't want to take up too much time. Um, the back is the telltale sign. I'm going to tell you why. We got detail here. Whether you believe these are all rocks or something more, from here, and you can see the line, all of this has detail. I think you would all agree on that, right? You know, it doesn't matter what these are. Rocks, mechanical, doesn't matter what it is. And then way in the back here, you can see more detail. Way, way in the back. Notice how there's a line right here. Whoops. A little lazy on the finger there. Goes up a little bit, comes back down. You can see there's actually a fine line where they've blocked this out. And then, of course, it completely disappears and you don't see any more of that. Let me back up for reference. All of this here has almost virtually no information. It's been completely taken out. Now, when you use a burn tool, let's say I was going to take the burn tool. I was going to go up over this top pot where all of that right here is. You sh what will happen is if you've got any darker areas, it'll just make it darker, right? Like if I go like this, if I was to bring this down and go, okay, let's, let me just go like this. What's going to happen is anything that's dark, you're going to bring it out. See it? It's going to bring it out. That's all you're going to do. But why is it that when we do it here, it becomes all yellow? Wait a minute. Why is that? I'm going to show you what I mean because I've done this on a large scale. And you can see the perfect line right there. It's been a perfect line. It's completely taken out. There's detail up here. All detail in this area here. But there's nothing at all down here. Why is that? Why? Because they're hiding things from you. It's just, it's not a mistake. It's not, oh, because it's a different pot of soil. This should be the same way. You should see, if that was the case, this should be completely smooth here as this one. But this is totally different. You can see the difference in the actual from here to here. You can just see it all. Completely information obfuscated out, completely gone. Now, if people still want to believe that's nothing more than just, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm completely wrong thinking I'm wrong, and that's just regular lunar surface, you're welcome to it. But I see a ton of detail here. And again, I see it all in the way in the back. So it's not a distance thing. It's not like, well, because it's so far away, you just can't see the detail. Well, then what's the excuse for all of this over here? Because I can see a lot of detail in the back there, too. This is the, what I've been telling everybody. They're lying to the people. When you start to see things like this, look at this. You can literally see something going into this hole here. Going like that. And you can see that pretty darn clear right here. This item is no rock. It's no rock at all. And to boot, you've got this round disc, whatever that is. And I'm just going to go over this quickly again, only because I wasn't as close in as far as uh, showing the anomalies because anybody who's on, the, on their phones. But check this area out right here. This whole thing is just bizarre. The white is the actual anomaly. The, the actual white here, and you can see what looks like little white squares. I'm just going to bring that down just a hair bit, guys, so give me a second. Um, right here. Goes across. This one here is doing kind of like this has this weird thing here. You've got this other piece here, and you've got what looks like an opening. Something coming out of it. Now, I'll back up again, and I'll show you that. You guys can always pause it because I've already done that, so it's not a big deal. And again, you can see this, this this soil line just happens to be almost practically straight across on a rock that has all of these, uh, you know, these details in higher and lower areas of the rock, but yet the sand is perfectly straight across. How is that possible? It doesn't happen that way, guys. You're going to see, like, it's going to have divots and everything else, or, you know, with the contour of that said rock, right, or boulder. No, no, not going to happen. Here's another, whoop, I hate it when that happens. Let me do this. Bring it in and check this out. Now, we're up to 500%, so we go any more than that. It's going to be really bad. Again, we've got this piece here, and you've got this opening with something coming out of it. Now, to me, that doesn't look like a simple rock, unless you've got rocks that look like giant worms coming out of other rocks. I mean, I guess it is then, right? Okay. Back up again. This thing here blew my mind, as well as the other rock. Now, you've got what looks like this cylinder or whatever the heck that is, and it's completely got an opening to it. 
I'm not sure if that's maybe an old rocket, expended rocket somehow. And you can see it right here if you go off. You know, it's it's something that looks like it's probably five to six feet maybe in, in length. I mean, of course, I'm just pure, you know, guesstimation, but just a point. I don't know. And even in the other photo, the original, you can see right here where they've actually taken this out. But by making this brighter, you can see this whole thing a whole lot better. And you can see right there where they've done it, right in this spot. So when you bring it way up and then get rid of that crap, it's a cylinder of some sort. Now, jumping over to back over to this part. You've got this piece right here. And I said right there, it's got that round piece. Like it looks like a center. Almost like this weird eyeball type thing. But uh, one, two, three, four. What is that, guys? What is it? And I'm going to zoom way in for, for you. That's 400%. Almost the best I can do there. Because that's right there is 500%. But let's do that. Should be relatively clear for you guys. And this piece right here, guys. Look at the way this thing is designed. This whole thing right here, right in the middle. Really? Now, to me, that don't, again, you know, it, it just doesn't look natural. It, you, you can see what looks like layers or some kind of weird, the way this thing fits together, that don't appear to be a rock to me. That's not a rock. I mean, other people can say, yeah, well, it's a rock, and that's fine. I mean, if that's what you want to, if you want to live in a box for the rest of your life and not think outside it and just be spoon-fed by NASA and everybody else. Now, people say that about me. Well, you're being, you're being lied to on a large scale. No, 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 you're not. Now I'll tell you why. Because people will say these things are being filmed, like with Mars. It's being, it's on, it's on Earth. Okay. Again, it would make no sense. Let's suppose uh, Mars. Let's talk about Mars for a moment. Why would they have something that looks like structures or something intelligently made in it? Wouldn't you want to take everything out of it? Let's say it was uh, um, a desert in Nevada. Okay. You would take anything that looks either natural, like a maybe a cactus or or like an old rusted car. You take everything out of that and make sure it's completely, uh, you know, just nothing. It's void of anything that's intelligently made. So does that make sense to you at all? Why would you do that? You want to make that thing look as realistic as possible and then put yourself a red filter over it and voila, done. But that's not the case. That's not what we're seeing. These people, listen guys, scientists are the first people to see these, not us. So they have to make it convincing to the scientists as well. This is the reason why they get these photos that they're, they're, they're uploaded from the rover to the MRO and other uh, surrounding um, you know, orbiters, and then it's then sent to Earth. Once the information comes in, there's, you know, geologists and all these people, planetary geologists and all these people that are looking at these photos. They've got to, these are real photos. However, they're doctored up and manipulated and obfuscated, and then they go, okay, scientists, have a look. And then we get the watered-down versions. I can promise you what we're seeing here, this is complete manipulation and obfuscation, and we're not seeing nearly as much as we should in this photo, but it's there. I promise you it is. Let me know what you guys think. The theory about why they're on the moon. Is it nothing more than just scientific studies? I believe that's true too. Um, I don't doubt that. Um, do you believe there's something much more, you know, going on? Do you believe, uh, do you believe it's like past, you know, uh, missions that failed? Which is a very good possibility because how many, you know, have been sent to the moon and Mars and failed? You know, starting back in the 1960s and I think late 50s, I think. Um, so this is nothing new, but why land where there was already another uh, failed mission? You want to land somewhere else, right? You don't want to see what they left. You want to, or is it, how do we know for like thousands of years, long before we even could look at the skies, that there wasn't things landing on the moon or something crashed into the moon? And they're just seeing this stuff now when I say that because we're in infancy stage that we're now seeing it. What do you guys think? Anyway, guys, you tell me what you think is going on. And like I said, leave a comment down below. Share the video. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Uh, welcome to everybody who's jumped on board and subbed. I very much appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts about what's going on. Anyway, guys, got another moon one coming up as well as another Mars coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And we'll see you in the next one.